All right, in this video, we're going to go over excited new feature in 1.3. There is now a blender or a plasticity to blender bridge, which means that anything that's in plasticity will automatically be transferred over to blender. So we've got my model set up here. It's similar to as I had it set up in previous videos, except I uh, went ahead and went ahead and uh, booleaned a couple things together just to make it far less uh, stuff to deal with over in blender so i wanted to show you how i like to use it right now this is just a quick overview so now uh when you open up plasticity i think by default uh it will be um it will be disabled so you have to go to your preferences hit server hit enabled okay should be good to go and then once you're in blender which we'll hop over this is just blender 3.5 i haven't updated recently so this is just a, a scene i already pre-put together here just to make this quick and easy so and obviously to install uh the blender bridge you have to download the blender bridge itself so we'll just do uh oops we learn how to spell. There it is. The plasticity here. And I've already installed the zip file in into here, so we're good to go. So all I have to do inside um, Blender is tap on the N key. And you can get this little panel off to the side. I already have plasticity selected. All I have to do is hit connect. And then you can do a, a live link, but I'm not really gonna go over that today. All I wanna do right now is just get my stuff from Plasticity over to Blender. And all I have to do is click only visible, and it's only visible, whatever is visible inside Plasticity is gonna be sent to Blender. So go ahead and hit refresh. And there we go. Very quick, super quick. So we can get out the camera view there. And come in here and take a quick look and see what it did. Uh, let's turn on wireframe. You can see it triangulated things uh, very well. And it uh, looks nice and smooth inside here. It's great. So let's go ahead and go back to... Where was I? I was in, there we go. And let's see. What do I want to show here? So you can actually take these bits and pieces over here and you can um refacet them uh make them higher lower whatever you need so you can actually uh this would be a good setup if you want to unwrap your uvs inside blender so you can change the you can go ahead and refacet things you just select on the item and then refacet it you can make it into an end gone uh, it's already done at triangles. Uh, there's also some utilities that another user uh, put in here that you can mark UV seams. And uh, it's it's real powerful. But for today, I'm just kind of showing you uh, just what I've been using it for, which is just to uh, make a quick render. So I've already got some materials here. So let's go shading. Let's go ahead and go into cycles here. And let's see, I think this is the one I need here. Yeah, crimson red. And then all I gotta do is select this guy, this guy. Control L, link the materials. Always make sure it's the last one selected. So I need to get the canopy or the hatch and then get them colored here or get their materials on here. Oh, I forgot to do these guys. All right, so I got that basically set up there. Let's go ahead. I've got this here. This is a Blender Brothers. Uh, here, where is that material? Yeah, material works from Blender Brothers. Very cool setup they got. Definitely came in handy for the solar cells. I'll show you. Yeah, I got one here. Came in perfectly. Bit of a 
pain selecting everything, but that's all right. Try to make it a little easier by uh, merging a lot of things before I send it over, but you don't even have to Boolean things together. Just send it over, but then you would have a lot of parts that you'd have to mess with. So, like I said, this is this is this is a lot of fun doing this. You can get a quick uh, preview of what you're. See, let's go ahead and get that canopy. Let's just go over to Material Works. Oops, got these guys. Cool. Now, if I wanted, all I have to do go back to layout. Got to select all these guys minus the lights and shift D just like a plasticity. Escape so it doesn't move. And then object mirror on X global. Boom. And turn our shading on. Cycles. And there you go. Quick quick turnaround just so you can see how it looks. I've been having a lot of fun. I spent way too much time in here working on the materials on this guy. So I call him the, I figure he could be part of the Crimson Sons. I think, I think that's the name of the gangsters in Star Wars. So, but that is basically Blender Bridge. Uh, it's, you know, like I said, this is just a quick overview on what, how I want to use it for now. Uh, down the road, I will start uh, tackling some of the UVs, but I'm not a UV person. I don't like UVs. So, yeah, I don't want to spend I don't want to bore you with that because it, it to me it is so boring. If there was a quick uh, one button solution, I would I would use it in an instant. But that's it. Yeah. Blender bridge uh in 1.3 definitely uh make some use of it.